Now, the 10-minute drill. This is a big one. Brought to you by TireOutlet.com. Wholesale prices, premium service. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. Uh, we're rocking, and we're rocking right now. This is the 10-minute drill. Thanks for being with us here on a Freedom Boat Club Wednesday. How are you doing there, my friend? I'm doing well. Do yeah. we still have Jaguar jerseys to give away? Yeah. We, still do? we do. Oh, we do. Wow. That's we fantastic. have men's and women. Yeah. So okay. if the winner is a Guganella, right. she'll okay. uh, Dan, Guganella. I, I got an alert from Pro Football Focus that concerned me on a couple of levels. One, it concerned me that I wonder what Pro Football Focus really is doing when they're putting their numbers together, but... Let's, I asked for this in the 6 o'clock hour. Do you, did you ever take theater appreciation in Florida? Did you get to that one? Odd appreciation. <laughs> I did take theater right. appreciation. Remember the old the THE plays? THE 2000 it was Correct. called back That's in right. the day. That's right. I took it as well. Did you did take you that? that? Yeah, no. it was awesome. Do you remember the phrase suspension of disbelief? No. Well, in theater appreciation, they tell you when you go to any kind of performance, you have to have a suspension of disbelief. I you, didn't remember you, that. You can't go to a movie and say, well, that would never happen. Well, that would never happen. That's mm-hmm. impossible. So, with the grades, I'm going to ask you to entertain a theater of disbelief, and, and the grades are accurate. Okay. How concerning would this be if these PFF grades are so accurate? I'm not going to complain about you how dumb they are. Correct. Got you. Would it be bad if your highest graded offensive player were Eric Flowers? Is it for the, just this game? Or? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Would it be, like, terrible, right? I mean, you Wouldn't picked this good. guy off the scrap heap a right. month ago. Right. But we have all backups playing. Yeah, basically. but th- but you also have starters at you know premier positions. Yes. I, I'd like to think that T.J. Yeldon were better than Eric Flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Eric Flowers, according to PFF, was their highest graded offensive player. Um, but this one's a doozy. Apparently, there is something called I know about adjusted field goal percentage in basketball, where you you know you factor in three pointers and then it makes your field goal percentage change from what it actually is. I didn't know you could change a completion percentage, but there's a stat called adjusted completion percentage and it just takes out the balls that are dropped or that you throw away on purpose or spike. And uh, apparently I think that's smart. Apparently Cody Kessler was the third best quarterback in the league this week. So I don't know what we're worried about. We got the third best quarterback in all of football and Eric Flowers is just the find of all time. So fantastic. Are those numbers uh, encouraging or discouraging? If they were true. If they were true? Um, oh, no. Oh, no. What are you doing? I'm sorry. What's the matter? He's got the news that my guy, uh, uh, Cardi B and Offset, are breaking up. <laughs> it's my guy, Quavo. Uh, Quavo's my guy, and uh, Offset's part of his group. How and did you get that news? The Migos. Huh? How did you get that news? Like, I get ESPN alerts. What kind of alerts are you getting? Quavo is my guy. I follow him. He's uh Dan is a big Migos fan. Yeah. I, I don't know who Walking the hell like you, you talk anymore. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be ignored, Dan. Nah, I'm sorry. What was the question? <laughs> Someone text you this? I'm not going to be ignored, Dan. <laughs> I'm so confused. We've got to drop I can't now. remember. Ask me a that gum question. I'll listen <laughs> and answer wrong. it. <laughs> Oh, am I ex- encouraged by? Yeah, was that good news? Would that be good news or bad news? For the Cody Kessler thing, it would be good, but yeah, I, I, yeah those. Do not believe pre- in it. Yeah. No, preposterous. Mm. Just preposterous. For, a, for for a frame of reference, Blake Bortles' career adjusted completion percentage is seventy five percent. So it sounds like they pretty much give you credit for any and everything. Um, listen, uh, uh, <clears throat> on a side note, I watched. Uh, I saw a soundbite from LeBron yesterday. Okay. And one of the reasons he went to L.A. was uh, allegedly was for family. And his son, Bronny, who we've seen highlights of, um, made his debut in high school, California high school basketball. But in California, you're not applaud- allowed to play varsity as a freshman. OK, there's a rule, there's a state rule. So uh, Bronny's suiting up for the JV over there. At, uh, uh, <laughs> I got his biggest kick. I mean, I, but I got LeBron, Bronny, who. By the way, can it like step back threes at fourteen and can dunk? I saw him dunking jeans the other day. Yeah, he's he's impressive. so he's he's a legit, really good player, and he's carving his own path. And it's so unfair that he's got you know LeBron James Jr. So he goes by Bronny, but but the kids he wore the kids on his team they're like little boys. They're like they're like you go down to the beach to go see uh, 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 Tommy Houlihan's group out there. You know, playing basketball on a Saturday. And they're all it's the same size. Tidy. Yeah. And then there's Bronny. It's yeah. funny. LeBron, you you watched the shop thing on HBO, right? Yes. LeBron even said he's like, in retrospect, he's like, I should not have named him after himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. 
27 points in his debut. You don't and know, though, how yeah. epically awesome you're going to be. But he goes by Bronny. I mean, no matter what. By the way, it doesn't matter. He yeah, could have gave him yeah, correct. Kirk James. That's and true. We all know he's LeBron's that's, kid. That's fair. So that's, that's a good it's point. It's okay. I mean, that's not too bad. But anyway, um, speaking of basketball, uh, what happened to Grayson Allen? He hasn't done much, has he? Well, he's done less. He's in the D League. Oh, I didn't know he was in the G League. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Oh, that's surprising to me. Well, they traded for Corver. And I think that pushed, that pushed him, down him down out well, of the rotation. Uh, they want him to play. It's not a good sign. I, he, I don't. I don't. I bet you the NBA success uh, pool isn't doesn't have very many people who you know get drafted in the top half of a round one and then get sent to the G League by December. Yeah. I, I bet you that doesn't. You don't get that back on track too easily. He's so. averaging less than ten minutes. May a not game, be. So. Might not be big enough, Dan. Yeah. Not a big dude. I mean, I don't know if he went at 6'4", 6'5", at a, a Duke. He can jump, but he ain't that big. Yeah, it'll be interesting. He's got to be. He's gotta... I thought it was an odd pick because he reminds me of, uh, oh, the guy who came on last year, Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, yeah. Similar size, similar game, you know, so that that's probably, you know, high flyers, dunkers. But, yeah, that's a – I have a basketball question for you. Right. A very quietly, in the deserts of uh, West Texas, a dynasty has died and dried and is blowing off like tumbleweed. Do you – have any, I don't know, remembrances of of a dominant great franchise? I thought they used were to be known as the Spurs. I thought the Spurs were the Patriots of the NBA. They and never got that due, though, did they? No, and I think that, um, you know, I think that Popovich is, you know, if not the goat, he's certainly in the discussion. Yeah, I think he's got to be on the Mount Rushmore. Uh, but I think we're coming to the end of the road for, for all, I think, all involved in San Antonio. You know what? It, it, it speaks to Except me. Except maybe RC. RC may be able to survive. RC Buford. Yeah. Once pushed Bob Sur on the sidelines of a college game. He did. Um, I think what it shows to me is just the the absolute oversight and lack of recognition that Tim Duncan deserved all those years, and he never got. Never got it. He never did. Tim Duncan never, ever, ever through Kobe and Shaq and then LeBron and forward ever got consideration or – uh, you know, acclaimed as the best player in basketball. And if you look back now over the grand scheme, he is. They won from 99 to 05, Dan. They won five titles mm-hmm. with him as the dominant player. And he just, even in his last one, he's an old man. Yeah. Who it's still weird. contributed. He never got it, and he never even remotely seemed like he wanted it. Couple of urban, that's, that's, that's fair, too. A couple of uh, Urban Meyer observations. Uh-huh. Uh, number one, I'll ask you, will he coach again? Uh, yes, is th- that answer. Number that's two. a complicated uh, question. <laughs> Were you not ready for that, Urban? What's complicated about I mean, it? Yeah. It's yay or nay. I think <laughs> Urban wants to coach. He wants to coach Ohio State, yet everyone around him who loves him and, and, and is in charge of his hair tells him he can't. I think that's where Urban Meyer is torn. Forget what you think That video, about. I hadn't seen that video where he was fell to his knees with the pay. You see him grabbing his head. Yeah. That was scary. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was, was earlier. That was the Indiana week. He did that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw all that earlier. But the Maryland game, it was nonstop like that. I, I really think Urban doesn't want to quit. He wants to coach. Yeah. He loves coaching. He would keep coaching through the pain and the issues. I've and between never, his doctors and his family, they're telling him, Herbs, you can't. I've never seen a coach <clears throat> more despised by the Southern media uh, than Urban Meyer. By the folks who covered him when he was down here, I mean, just I don't, vitriol it's, and it's, hatred it's, towards well, Urban Meyer. It's, 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 but yet, you're up, kind of on that train a little. Up there, I don't see it. Well, he's because he's one of theirs. He's, he's Ohio, he's an Ohio is? State grad. He, yeah. he, you know, that's what he. Why did he get to be an Ohio State guy? Because he went to Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Must have a Masters there. Must yeah. have gone, you know, coach, yeah. coached under Earl Bruce and got a Masters. Because yeah. Shelly used to be on the sidelines at Florida games with a Buckeye in her pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Or in the stands with a Buckeye. I, I, I don't know why the Southern media hates him so much. I don't know. He was, I, I mean, look, he, he was an aloof, didn't tell you much coach, but no one hates Belichick. He's like that. That's just interesting to me. That's interesting to me, too. Why is Urban Meyer hated more than Belichick? And I understand, I understand Gator Nation, you know, not really liking him. I get it because he and wasn't one him, of us. I had some hate him, some don't. Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm it's, saying, I don't get hating him. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a passion thing, I think. Anyway, uh, I, I do think he'll coach again. I think he'll be back uh, once he's feeling better. Uh, by the way, Dan, yeah. just a 10-minute uh, uh, drill follow-up. Yep. Grayson Allen's time in the G League, uh, one game. Oh, he's back? Oh, is he back? Uh, said he put, scored 26 points, <laughs> including four threes for the Salt Lake City Stars on Monday night. He'll rejoin the Jazz Tuesday night. Maybe the best, come off the bench he, may be, the he might be the best AAA basketball player in the world right now. 
I mean, that may be what it yeah. is. That NBA, whatever, that extra three inches of size. Good, I'm glad he's back. Yeah, so I, I hadn't followed him much. I saw him play one game earlier in the year, and he didn't do, didn't do um, a whole lot. All right, uh, I just got one little Gator basketball uh, question. Is yeah. They, they beat – West Virginia last night, you know, one by ten. Is is the defense good enough that maybe the offense finds itself a really young team? Dan, I'm watching last night. At one point, they got four freshmen running around out there. I like the kid, uh, number eleven. Yeah, I like his, Deontay Johnson. I, I like I like the I like how they play. They They're play hard. Young. The ball just won't go in the damn basket. Yeah. I mean, my gosh, some of those shots. I'm like, that has no chance of going in. What are you doing? Even um, one that shouldn't have gone in, the runner by by uh, Kavon Allen. Did you see that yeah. one? That he oh, got yeah, he banged and it just up. happened to go in. Yeah. Um, what was the question? Is the defense good enough that it's a young team? That, that do they still have any? Do you have any confidence at all? They can be a tournament team. It's probably the better way to. I say I don't that. have any confidence, but I think they can. If, yeah. If being That's in the, where I am. I'm not sold on the SEC. I need them to get a win. I need them oh, like, to beat be, Michigan State. Well, that would be huge. They're yeah. five and three right now. I'm going to think they're going to lose to Michigan State. And they have Mercer, Florida, Gulf Coast. If you don't beat Michigan State, though, it doesn't matter winning those games. At the end of the year, you won't get in. If they just... Do we play Butler again? Yeah, that was scheduled. That was just a normally scheduled game. The other one was in a tournament that it happened that we played them. Well, that stinks. Uh, well, we'll be, Butler's no... I, I like that. I think it's a chance to right the wrong. But Florida is better than Butler. They should have won that game. Yeah. Anyway, that's right. the 10-minute uh, drill. Thank it's you. time. All right, here we go. We're going to go. Oh, man. Yesterday, we got caller number one. What did we decide? Do we get a jersey, too, or no? No. No. 641-1010, Jaguar jersey. And what else, Beef? Uh, In addition to the uh, Jaguar authentic on-field jersey, like Lauren said, we have men's and women's sizes. First come, first serve. Uh, Also, you're getting part of the 10th and XL holiday gift guide. You can find great gift ideas at 10th and XL. Dot com. Today's uh, winner will get $25 to spend at Gotham City Limit Comics and two first-time flyer flights for the brand-new Jacksonville iFly at the Town Center. We'll call her number five. Call her number five for the jersey. 